Hi everyone, I'm Shannon Vasconcellos, Director of College Finance for Bright Horizons College Coach. And I just wanted to check in as we've been working with lots of folks over here at College Coach who are struggling to make their final college decisions in light of everything that's going on with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, and particularly in regards to their finances and financial circumstances that might look very different now than they did back in the fall when you might have been initially applying to college and applying for financial aid. So I just wanted to make sure that everyone out there knows that they can, uh, and in fact, they probably should go back to the colleges under consideration and ask for more financial aid and scholarships. A first offer is not necessarily a final offer. So if you received a need-based financial aid offer based on financial circumstances, that no longer exist for your family, I want you to check the college's website for any official financial aid appeal form that they have. If they don't have a form, simply send in an email asking that they reconsider your financial aid offer based on your change in circumstances. And that could be you've lost your job or you've been furloughed, your business has been closed, or maybe your savings have been depleted. Uh, maybe you have high medical expenses that you're paying or you're supporting an elderly relative. It may have nothing to do with the pandemic. Maybe you as a parent are still paying back your own student loans or you, maybe you reported receiving child support back in 2018, but that is ending soon. Really, if there is anything that the financial aid office doesn't know about your financial circumstances, anything they didn't ask on the FAFSA form or that has changed since filing your FAFSA, let the aid office know. You wanna document it with facts and figures and receipts, and you just ask them to reconsider your aid offer. Uh, and I would actually wanna add that this also applies to juniors who will be applying for aid in the fall with 2019 income information. You'll definitely wanna send in an update as well if 2020 looks different for your family. Now, if you did not receive need-based financial aid but were offered a merit scholarship, you can also ask for more scholarship money. Now, merit requests typically go to the admissions office instead of the financial aid office, but it's the same basic process. You just send in an email letting them know that the cost of college has become more of an issue for you. And while you or while your child would love to attend their school, you're concerned that you can't justify the extra expense right now uh, and that maybe you got a better scholarship offer from another school or you have a less expensive in-state public option that's really hard to turn down right now. Uh, and just ask if there are any other scholarship resources at the school that could help you bridge that gap. Again, you wanna document those better offers that you have and then just ask politely for more. Now, you won't always be successful. I think we need to acknowledge that many colleges are struggling financially right now as well, um, but many are also struggling to fill the seats in their class so that if you let them know that some extra funding from them will make a big difference to your enrollment decision, they may be willing to work with you. So I would say before you put down that enrollment deposit, send in a request for additional assistance. Then you probably want to follow up in a couple weeks if you haven't heard back and don't hesitate to ask for an extension on your enrollment deposit if you need it. Uh, but just know that it never hurts to ask for more. The worst a college will do is say no, or they might say not right now because we have to see how 2020 plays out. But know that there are many colleges that regularly say yes, and they can be flexible with their aid offers. So I would encourage you to at least ask the question. So good luck, everybody. Please stay in touch with us. Let us know how you do. Uh, we would love to hear uh, some more success stories about negotiating and appealing for more financial aid. Um, so stay in touch and do take care and stay healthy, please. Bye-bye.